Hi and welcome back to the course. In this video we're just going to be taking a look at how we can create our post class. So if we go to our post.py file here, and I'm just going to add a new line there, we'll see that we have now created an init method. So when we create a new post object, when we tell Python I want one of these new things that you can call posts and that have title, content and author, when we do that we can specify the title, the content and the author of the post upon creation. And that simplifies later on so we don't have to um, change the properties after creating the object. So that's all good. What other things will this post need? Posts are going to need um, a blog ID and what this is is where which blog does this post live in? Basically, if this post is under my blog or Joe's blog. So we need a way to identify the blog that this post belongs to. So we're going to have a blog ID variable. And this blog ID, as I said, is just which blog am I in? Am I in my blog, Joe's blog, or Rolf's blog, or Anne's blog? We're going to need title, we're going to need content, we're going to need author. Um, and we possibly will also need a post ID. What is the ID of this specific post? So this ID is used to identify the post. We could use the title as an identifier, but then we would never be able to have two posts with the same title. So that may not be a big problem, but just in case, let's stick to having an ID for each post. And this ID is always going to be unique. Now, posts can do things. What sort of things can a post do? Well, it can um, save itself to the database, for example. And you may be thinking, well, a, a post can't really save itself to a database, can it? Um, something else can save the post to the database. But really, that may be a bit of a line that you can be on one side or the other. So you can have uh, something else saving a post to the database, or you can say the post knows what the database is and can therefore save itself to the database. And I think that makes sense. Um, that's kind of like saying, can a student go to class or do they have to be taken? Um, well, it depends on the motivations of the student, I guess. Uh, so in this case, let's say the post can save itself to the database because it knows where the database is. And therefore, it can simply put its own data into the database. So what is the data that this post um, contains? Or what, what makes up this post? So in order to decide what makes up this post, I'm going to create another method called JSON. And this JSON method, um, what it does is it creates a JSON representation of the post itself. So this JSON representation is really just a key value uh, set. So it can have ID. So the ID of the post is self.id, this object's uh, ID. So if we're talking about uh, post 1, then this would be 1. If we're talking about post 2, then this would be 2. It also has a blog ID, which is self blog ID. It also has an author, which is self.author. It also has a content, which is self.content. It also has a uh, title, which is self.title and it also probably has a date in which it was created so I'm going to put that up here as well in the init method self.created date equals date and notice that I can do this I can say self.created date equals date they don't have to have the same name even though they tend to um, they don't necessarily have to have the same date and I'm using created date because I think that reads a bit nicer and because up here it really doesn't matter what you call it. You could call it created date up here as well if you wanted. There you go. 
So this JSON method now returns a JSON representation of the object. Basically, the ID and then the ID, blog ID, blog ID, and all of the data then related to this blog post. And then the save to Mongo method or action, the only thing it has to do is it has to say, get this data here and put it in a database. So what we'll do is say database dot insert, and we're going to work on what this is in a moment. Posts self dot json. We're going to be creating the database uh, class in the very next video. So do not worry if you think this is a bit of magic, because I appreciate that I may look a bit like it, but really it will work. So what this will do is it'll connect to the database somehow, and it will insert some data in this collection. Collection equals posts, data equals self.json. So what it'll do is it'll put inside this collection this data. And that's what we're going to be working on in the very next video. So that is um, what we're going to be looking at in this video. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video where we're going to be working on the database class. So I'll see you there.